Now, the rest of the story. In every sport, at every echelon. I mean Sandlot to World Series, Bunny Hill to Olympic Downhill, Park District to Augusta National. There are those who participate and those who, for whatever reasons, must cheer from a respectful distance and dream what if. St. Joseph Elementary School, Cold Spring, Ohio, has two third-grade basketball teams, both of them nicknamed St. Joe's Blue Jays. The teams are differentiated by the names of their instructors coaching them. One is Mr. O'Brien's and Mr. Gray's team. The other is Mr. Braun's team. And somewhere on the ground floor of this Babel Tower of names is a toe-headed third grader named Ryan Lloyd. Now, Ryan has yearned to be a basketball star for as long as he can remember. Around third grade, general interest in basketball starts heating up at St. Joseph's School. But at the beginning of the fall semester, Ryan was told by pals and coaches, you're just, well, you're just too short for basketball. So Ryan hung out on the sidelines until coaches O'Brien and Gray finally invited him to practice with their team. And the young fellow's hook shot was pretty good for someone vertically challenged, as was he. Decent layups and foul shots, too. What if I practice hard and get better, Ryan beseeched the coaches. No, they insisted, the boy was just not built for basketball. All right, comes the big game now. January 5, 2002, a close matchup between the two third-grade teams at St. Joseph's School, and there on the sidelines, as usual, supporting his practice buddies, sits eight-year-old Ryan Lloyd. The game is hard played, and with two minutes to go, the score is still close. Slight edge for the coaches O'Brien and Gray, and that's when one of them, looking down at the little face reflecting so many emotions, tells Ryan, Okay, I'm putting you in. And he is further instructed, now don't shoot, just pass the ball. Don't shoot and stay out of the way. But as Ryan rushes into the fray, the momentum of finally being a part of something he has loved for so long carries him to the hoop in search of rebounds, of opportunities to score. But the minutes tick down to seconds, and the numbers on the scoreboard closer than ever beckon Ryan to make a difference for his team. Now just ten seconds left. An instant, an eternity in the mystery that is basketball. A teammate hurls the ball inbounds to Ryan. The other team swarms around him, sure to stall, to steal, to stifle his dream. But Brian Lloyd, the boy too short for the sport of giants, straining to see over the heads of the defenders, spots the hoop and shoots the ball. The buzzer sounds, the ball is on its way. It's arcing high and then down, down... Dead center into the net. The breathless, silent gymnasium erupts in shouts, in cheers, in tears. Ryan's team has won. His arms are airborne, pumping fists of victory as teammates joyous converge. For sometimes in sport happens something so pure, so real, so right, as it did that warm day in cold spring when Ryan Lloyd, age eight, his legs part paralyzed from spina bifida. Buried the biggest field goal of his young life from his wheelchair. And now you know the rest of the story.